Hey everybody, it's Steve. Hey, thanks for joining me. Hey, this is episode 8 of The Trailer Project. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and build some back doors and kind of walk through some of the final arrangements before we went camping. So, you see here, I've got no doors, but the trailer is ready to go. I went ahead and built some doors. So, to do that, basically I'm building uh, double doors on the back. And I used the cutoff pieces that I had from the front, since that was only 4 foot something wide. Um, so, I had enough pieces there to do one of the doors, then I bought some more wood for the other one. Same tongue and groove I used on the sides. Went ahead and got these all cut down. And basically they're about two foot, two foot two, something like that. Uh, I think they're right about two foot each. So just getting these cut down, that went pretty quick. And then I needed to go ahead and run the other two pieces for the top across that table saw because they were a little bit too wide, too tall. I mean, it's very similar to what I did. In, it's exactly similar to what I did in the side walls um, where it was, they were just too tall. Plus, it also gives it a nice smooth edge to go up against that roof overhang that I have on there. It's time to do the assembly here. So I went ahead and I assembled these out. And I did not glue these at this time or use the construction adhesive because uh, I'm kind of doing these as a temporary setup just to test them. Uh, the plan being is this winter I'm going to go through and, and disassemble these and, and build them more, more uh, rigid. So I'll go ahead and glue them and I'll put better support brackets, maybe some, some metal uh, corner brackets to give it some more rigidity. But this was just really more of a test and also just to be able to get this thing on the road using with what I had. So I'm just using little pieces of cutoff scrap that I had to give a little bit of Z-bracing on this to give it a little bit of strength and hold it all together. And both doors were constructed uh, the exact same way. Okay, there we go. So I went ahead and gave that a, a test to see how it sized up and then figured out what I needed to do for the hinges. For the hinges, I'm using gate hinges that you would use on a uh, fencing gate. They work real well. They're real nice, heavy duty, and they attach real well to, to the trailer. Uh, keeping in mind that the back of that trailer is not square, so I needed to make some adjustments uh, both here on the doors, I think, a little bit, as well as on when it mounted to the trailer. But I'm just basically using... Big half inch um, self tappers that you would put like on a garage door to hold garage door hinges. I had some of those laying around. You notice I'm cutting another piece here for the middle, and what happened was I was using pieces of scrap, and that center piece was a piece of plywood, and it had a little too much flexibility to it, um, so it would the door wasn't wasn't rigid. So I went ahead and grabbed a solid piece of scrap and went ahead and replaced it with that, and that took care of the problem. Then I ended up using that extra piece just as an extra piece of the to make the box for that that Z bracing. And again, the plan is to come back in later and and rebuild this door with better stuff. See, we're running out of daylight, so it's crunch time. So here it is. Didn't stop, didn't do any more filming at that point. These are the doors on there. You see the hinges. I used a garden gate. Uh, you notice I got a garden latch. I used that to hold that door closed. And then here it is with the roof on it. Here we are getting to camping. Uh, we're at a, a break on a trip. And here we are in Brown County, Indiana, one of the most beautiful state parks here in Indiana in the fall. So get the easy up set up, got the lights, fridge, microwave, coffee maker, all that good stuff in the trailer with the camper, I mean with the uh, tent plus the truck. And then here it is back at home, all finished up. So, hey, thank you for watching and have a great day. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye.